Hey everybody, Isaac the new backwoodsman here coming at you on a cool day here in Virginia. It was like 70 degrees yesterday. Today it's like maybe 50, but there's a lot of wind blowing, so it makes it much colder. But today, just want to do a quick, kind of more proper actual review on one of my favorite folding knives, the Buck Model 110. I've done lots of videos with this knife in it, but never really gave a true blue knife review on the Buck Model 110. As you can see, I got my Buck hat on under my hoodie here. Got to keep those ears warm. My little boy dressed as a fox, and he just brought me in a nice stick. So how about we open up our knife and shave this stick. Let's do, uh, let's do this end into a spear point. Man, this was a terrible stick. It's like hollow inside. Yeah. But anyway, I mean, look at the buck 110, shave that. We got three and three quarter inches made in the USA 420HC steel on the standard model. You can find some different steels out there. This is a clip point blade, also available in a drop point. And we've got the nice curved contour to fit in the hand. Of uh, These are diamond wood scales. If you were to buy the Buck 110 today, you would get it with ebony wood. And we've got brass, bolsters, and liners, which make this a heavier kind of folding knife. It weighs in at 7.2 ounces so not your uh like 1.8 ounce bench made bug out something like that but this is undoubtedly the most popular folding knife design of the mid to late 20th century buck started offering these for sale in 1964 and they haven't been out of production since even though this knife may be a relic of the 20th century, Buck still sells a ton of these knives. Why? They just keep on cutting. That's why. They just keep on cutting. Buck is famous for their heat treat. Well known in the knife world that their patented Boss Heat Treat is one of the best in the business. And this stick is terrible, so we're not really making a pointy spear because it just has that hollow, hollow all the way through. What a weird stick. Well, that's a tray. Here, but right now we're just gonna cut some random material, some kind of nylon rope that you can get Do you need that serrated edge to cut through nylon rope? No, you just need a sharp edge, which the Buck 110 comes with straight out of the box and is relatively easy to maintain. Yes, that I get you. We want to cut that? Yes. All right, well, we'll cut that rope. Relative ease. I mean, that was pulled pretty tight there because it was such a short strand from cutting it before. Okay. We're just gonna cut a few other things here. All right, let's see that. Should we cut it? Mm -hmm. This is an Osage orange, or some call them hedge apples. They're not edible, but some say they can keep spiders away. Spiders away? Yeah. Oh, I got sure spider So we're spider. just gonna cut through this. It's probably gonna be all kinds of gunk on my blade after cutting through this. Oh yeah, look at that. These things kind of look like a brain. But anyway, this is an, a review of the Osage Orange. It's a review of the Buck 110. But anyway, pretty clean cut. So if this was real edible fruit, 
oh, he wants me to cut this stick too. If that was real edible fruit, like a, that was about the size of a grapefruit, you know, buck one town cut right through that. Slice up that grapefruit for you. Apple, orange, whatever your preferred fruit is. And of course, shaves a stick. Nice and dirty. How about you hold those little sticks? Maybe we'll try to make a fire. Hey, where'd I put my bag? Oh, got my bag of tricks here. So the Buck 110 is a hunting knife by design, by trade, but you know, it's a, it could be a daily user. But hunting knife, we're gonna cut hide. Here's a piece of leather. Good clean cut. Razor sharp. No. You know, you want to pr process game with the Buck 110? Go for it. Okay. How many deer or other game, you know, rabbits, whatever, whatever's popular, a bear, people have processed everything That's with a Buck it. Model 110. Okay. Oh, I already did cut that. You know, we cut that nylon rope earlier, but. You know, paracord is really popular in the outdoor world, so here's a, you know, a few stand, strands of paracord right through there, right through. Oh, we're, he wants to shave this. This is a interesting stick. We're gonna do the spine of the knife there. Uh. You know, that was shaving off. I don't know if the camera really picked it off, but. It would work great, you know, if you had like a branch from a, like a cedar tree to make some fire tinder. Why don't we, why don't we try that? Why don't we try some cedar bark? There's some cedar tree right over here. Yeah, so the spine of the buck one ten. Yeah, I see those puppies over there. Yeah, we can get plenty of shavings here for the start of a fire tinder. You know, cedar bark is great for that. Now, this spine isn't a true 90 degrees, but if you are so inclined, I bet you could take a file and rub it across that and you can make that a true, you know, a sharp 90 degree spine, like an LT right or a Pathfinder knife shop kind of deal there for, for a real purpose of, you know, doing scrapings like that and striking a ferro rod. But, you know, it's not a bushcraft knife. Well, it's not designed to be a bushcraft knife, but can you bushcraft with it? Why not? Why not, my friends? The Buck Model 110. The most, probably the most copied fooling knife of all time. Donnie B all day. If you don't subscribe to him, he's an awesome knife reviewer here on YouTube. He did a video a while back comparing the Buck and some other folding hunters like the Case. Oh yeah, this one's very sharp, huh? It has thorns on it. Is the Buck 110 a chopper? Well, chop this stick. Get all those little sharp nubbies off of this. Whoops, too powerful. But anyway, Donnie did a comparison of this and some other folding hunters like the case uh, Hammerhead, uh, a couple of Frost Cutlery, Shrade, and K-Bar. Uh, he picked the uh, case as the, the best in his video, but I don't know. Buck did it first, and I think Buck did it best. I prefer Buck's blade shape on the like 110 and also their, their 110 smaller brother, the 112. Prefer that blade, this blade shape, uh, it's a less predominant 
clip on the buck as opposed to cases. I should have brought mine out with me to really show, but I don't know. Donnie chose a case hammerhead. But I choose the buck. Spiders? Oh no. Must be some spiders over there. But anyway, let's uh let's try shaving up a little fat wood because it's Friday so we can have a nice little uh, blow a smoke for fat wood Friday all right so here we got this nice stick of fat wood this was sent to me by my bad adventures well I had this uh, tin here for fire make <laughs> shaving that buck just uh, poked right through it Can we get some scraping with the spine there just to see what it can do? Get all gunked up on there. It's probably sticking from cutting through that Osage orange. I just want to get a few shavings here and then we'll kind of... You want me to shave that stick? Okay, we'll shave this stick. I don't really want to make a fire right now, but we got these few couple of shavings here that Uh oh. Uh oh. My lighter might be dead here. Is that, or it's too windy? It was too windy. That Happy was. Fatwood Friday. With the Buck Model 110. And me, your host, Isaac the New Backwoodsman. Just a reminder, we are giving away a Buck 110, as well as uh, some other goodies, like a Survival Knives book which the Buck 110 has a little write-up in. Please stay away from that. You don't want to get burned. Careful. Gotta be careful. But anyways, yeah. We're giving away a Buck 110. He just put that stick in the fire here. <laughs> it's our teeny tiny fat wood. I guess you don't need much fat wood to get a good kind of survival fire going there, but uh, the Buck 110 gets it done. Luke, don't touch. Ay, ay, ay. But anyway, yeah. Anyways, anyways, anyways. How many times did I say that? We're giving away the Buck Model 110. The Buck Model 110 when we hit 500 subscribers. Right now we're sitting, I think, at like 473, so we got about 27 people to go. There is a link in the description of this video to go to my giveaway video. Comment on that giveaway video to be entered to win. Please be a resident of the United States and at least 18 years old to enter. Have a great day, everyone. Even if you don't win a buck 110, go buy yourself one. It's a must own tactical action here. <laughs> Have a great day. Have a great weekend. If I don't see you before, which I probably will, happy Thanksgiving.